What's in the name, you ask? The answer is everything. It is important to not only pick a name for your company, but also settle on it being the recognized choice from now on. Going back to my previous analogy of bringing a business into existence being similar to birthing a child, you don't begin by calling that child one name and then somewhere down the line think to yourself, you know what, I think I'll call it something else from now on. You have to pick a name and stick to it, which is another reason for my long lead time because I know how much I tend to change my mind about all sorts of things day to day. Like I said, it is only me making these decisions. So it's not like having someone else to bounce decisions off of or get feedback from. Early on did I zero in on it being called Brooks Builders because I like the ring of those two words together. However, I did bounce around several different iterations of it. As far as the organizational structure, I also was able to decide early on that it would be a corporation rather than a sole proprietorship or a partnership or an LLC. I definitely wanted it to be a corporation mainly because should it turn out to be successful and start drawing the attention of others who wanted to maybe invest in it, it would be easier for them to do so in the form of stock options. Now, do I know anything about stock creation within a company? No, not at all. But just as with all other aspects of this venture, I'm educating myself as I go along. Likewise, if a complete corporation turns out to not be viable, I can always scale it down to an LLC. Also, I'm not even sure the state of Pennsylvania allows for the formation of a one-person corporation, which only some states allow. I do know that once corporations are formed, evidence of them is essential in the form of regular corporate meeting notes commonly referred to as meeting minutes. Should the IRS ever come knocking with an audit, you have to be able to produce the meeting minutes as proof, which I see keeping up with as no big thing. I can call a meeting each month in which I am the only person in attendance, which may involve the selection of myself as president and CEO, I can throw in a couple of other general announcements or decisions that I vote on, then repeat again for subsequent meetings. Meeting minutes need not be lengthy and drawn out. They can be as simple as a couple of sentences, because all you do at them is all you do. As mentioned, I went through several different iterations of the Brooks Builder name. Months ago, I became a member of the BIA organization, which holds in-person events as often as on a monthly basis, some of which are informal meet and greets. Others are seminar sit-downs on specific topics, etc. Most events require a notice to register. A benefit for registration of events by members is that sticky name labels are printed for each attendee, with the name of the company each of them are there to represent. When I had registered to attend my first event, I was contacted in advance by BIA, who wanted to know what the name of my company is. I said it is Brooks Builders Incorporated. They noted that, ever since, any of the events I have registered to attend, they always have a printed label containing my name and my company as Brooks Builders Incorporated. At the time, I told them that my company name is Brooks Builders Incorporated. I believed it would be something I would keep, but that only lasted for a brief period until I changed it to Brooks Builders of Philadelphia. I have yet to notify BIA about the name change. 
since it is minor and only related to a name label at events. It is no big deal.